in my opinion, one of the best bands that the faith-based format has ever seen that people are still trying to learn their name. Or, you know, to get, to get you know, to get... <laughs> and maybe Big Daddy Weave struggles with it. You have a thousand radio songs, but yet people are still going, oh, that's you. Yes. And so for me, Promises is, is, was such a huge song, and, that, and then Lead Me did so much, but yet people still have to know, oh, that's Sanctus. That's got to be frustrating. <laughs> we've yeah. talked, we, we've made fun of the fact that, so, yeah, we need to get a new mark, not marketing department at the label, but just for the band. Yeah. <laughs> wear funny costumes or something. <laughs> well, yeah, it's so funny because we started, you know, the band in 1996. We were all high schoolers. And, uh, and, and well, Mark actually just graduated. And he came to us with the name Sanctus Real. And at the time, we had no idea. Part of the problem with this name was that we were thinking, well, it's short for Sanctuary, it's short for Sanctified, thus Sanctus Real. Later found out that it's properly in Latin pronounced Sanctus. Okay. So there's like already this disconnect with Catholics who will not say our name <laughs> wrong, how we still say it, because that's how we started. Yeah. And so, I mean, I guess there's all kinds of band names who like twist words and, you know, so it's like, it's a band name. We thought about changing it so many times, but it was always like, there was always that mile marker that was like, well, man, we've already accomplished this with this right. name. Do we like disconnect with all uh, five fans we have already? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Leave the dream is the name of it. Is it any good or is just the next one? <laughs> <laughs> we never have labored over a project like we have this one. Yeah. Let's, let's play the first sampling. Um, uh, Lay It Down is the one where what's, what's kind of some DNA? Lay It Down is really just, uh, it's about surrender. Because I think we all hold on to things. Um, and we kind of carry things wherever we go, whether it's like just the burdens or anxieties of that day or bigger things that we've been carrying for a long time or just kind of all those little things that add up, mm -hmm. you know? And it sounds too, way too easy just to be like, hey, shake it off, lay it down, mm -hmm. you know? But, um, but that's what the Bible tells us to do. It says, don't be anxious, mm -hmm. but instead pray. And so, um, you know, I, b I believe that, <clears throat> that God's promises hold true when we do that. You know, he says that his peace will guard us and cover us and be with us as we walk through this stuff when we're willing to just simply in faith give it to him mm. so it's it's it seems overly simple at times but i think this song i love that it communicates a spiritual truth really a deeper message that permeates obviously deeper parts of our hearts and lives and in just a really simple way believe me i'm not all right promises which of the three has led to more stories for sanctus real that you hear about over the span of however long all three of those have, have been in existence we've had uh, a lot of stories from all those songs but i mean i have to say because lead me touches a topic that is so close to the heart of anyone in a family and we're all in a family like with the struggles of relationship I think we definitely get the most stories still from that song I mean just a few days ago we had a, uh, a radio personality um, tell us uh, sorry I call you radio personality as though you're like some kind of robot or something Number goodness gracious we, we, we had a friend who works in radio tell us the other day that um, somebody called in and was like they weren't even at all a Christian if they were listening to Christian radio I'd grab them the highway and they were like man I don't know what y'all just played but this song lead me just like yeah. man that song did something to me and it was so funny because they said he ended, ended the call like so I just wanted to say like have a blessed day is that what you guys say <laughs> what do you guys Cause, say because he was like I'm not a Christian you know yeah. uh, and it's so neat you know to hear, hear even that just the other day this happened and, and to hear stories literally many stories of even husbands and wives who'd been and, uh, gone through divorce, weren't even on good terms with each other at all, and both heard that song in different places and are remarried. Like, I mean, we've heard that story like three or four times. Um, that, that song, for some reason, I'm thinking like years of whatever it was going on in the relationship that led to them divorcing, that they couldn't resolve. Probably, you know, probably counseling and fights and, 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 and just all this like terrible things going on in their lives, you know, this pain painful stuff that they couldn't get right for whatever reason and then they hear a four minute song mm. and something about that song like sparks some kind of mm. or flips some kind of switch inside of them to like that you might have fun. written in a bathrobe on your yeah yeah you know? <laughs> how'd you know <laughs> but it's like somehow out of that it leads them to a place of healing yeah. I'm like I can't even begin to fathom the one time you admitted what you do for a living and that you're in a band and the whole thing back 
backfired. The toughest part, back to the name, is like, that almost always backfires. It's like, so what do you do? I'm a musician. Oh, really? Are you in a band? Yeah, yeah, I play with some guys. What's the name of the band? And if you're on a plane or something somewhere that's kind of loud or any kind of noise, you say, Sanctus Real. Nine times out of ten, they're like, uh, wh what? What was that? What was that? Yeah. And so I just pull up my phone and I just show them. I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is what the album looks like. This is the band name. Yeah. You know? So that happens a lot. Yeah. But I can't say there's ever been an epic fail where people are like, oh yeah, I know your band. I don't like your band. Yeah. Or anything like that. I don't think anything like that's ever happened. Yeah. yeah. I think I get, I get, there's been a couple of funny different reactions that you get. You know, so a lot of times it's like, oh my gosh, I love Christian Radio. I totally know your songs. Yeah. But again, like they may not know our band, right? right. Yeah. As other times they're like, we get approached, you know, oh man, I totally love your band, you know, if they ask what you do. Um, and then, you know, there's other times though, we're like, you're like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm in a band. And they start asking you questions and then you're like, oh, what kind of music? And you're like, oh yeah, you know, we're signed to uh, uh, Capital Christian Music Group, Sparrow Records. And it's like, as soon as you say Christian, they're like, oh, you know, it's like that Seinfeld. They, they still they still reference like the Seinfeld Christian rock episode or something, you know? <laughs> and like, part. yeah, like it's just so funny. Like we, how you can get like discriminated against yeah. because you've seen Christian music. It's just so funny, you know? It's like, you, you think these days we're like, Tolerance is so, right. you know, so preached even amongst like, um, you know, every type of person. You know, it's like yeah. that's still like you can get kind of that scholar once in a while, like yeah. Christian music. That must be super cheesy, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where you pull out. I'm a Grammy nominee, right? Yeah, well, yeah, that's where I, my wife likes to do that. Yeah. I still can't bring myself to tell people that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, big yeah. guy. Huh? We joked about this a bit as far as how tough it is for a, a band to declare to random strangers, hi, you'll like my music, give me a try, kind of a deal, and then to, to make them fans of, of the band. If you could start over, what would you do differently in regards to to, um, to being a band? Yeah, you started this mess. Yep. <laughs> First thing I would do differently is definitely we would be called Sanctus Real. <laughs> man, I don't know. You know, the, the journey has been pretty awesome I, I feel like you know maybe <laughs> seven records in maybe it's it's maybe it's taken us a little while to like learn certain aspects of this whole thing in terms of songwriting or stage performance or whatever to to be the best band that we can be the growth process i think has been been worth you know maybe the times at the beginning of this whole thing when we didn't really know what we were doing maybe but i don't know that's a tough question besides the band name i'm not sure what i would change